Now, let's talk about you and what in this process you are going to be responsible for. Well, um, I've uh, boiled it down to seven different categories here. Um, so we're looking at some tasks that need to be taken care of before the event begins, um, some things that need to be taken care of um, to prepare uh, specifically for this event, um, and then some some uh, some um, some responsibilities that involve trying to get some local people from the community to uh, to engage with this uh, with this with creating this event. Also, now if you notice any of these uh, any of these tasks that are marked with an asterisk uh, is optional just to let you know. Um, and then, uh, you know, maybe you'll want to po make some engagement posts, uh, things like posting a question on a Facebook that's related uh, in a particular Facebook group, or maybe posting the artwork or posting a video that's related to the topic, just to get people engaged online, already thinking about and exploring this topic in preparation for the event. There are then a few things to get done on the day, uh, things like checking the weather, confirming with the team, uh, and then there's actually managing the event. So you're going to need to set up the venue. Um, we have some music that we encourage people to play to make the space feel like a good event space. Um, we have a video that we also encourage uh, local chapter leaders to play that goes through some of the background information about what Real Talk philosophy is and why we're all meeting here, uh, in addition to some announcements. Um, we then ask that the local chapter leader also checks in with the, the local team and the venue, making sure that everybody's set for the event, um, and then also setting up the front door, making sure that there's someone to collect money at the front door. We help you, uh, we, we, we guide you and help you through this whole process, of course, um, and then actually running the event, this two and a half hour event, cleaning up, and then maybe uh, hosting some kind of after party as well. Um, and then there's also some just post-event admin, so things like um, submitting any photos, that were taken of your event, um, requesting uh, on Facebook or on Instagram, et cetera, some kind of connections that um, uh, with anyone who came to the event, you'll be able to contact them more easily next time, uh, maybe posting those haiku and drawings, um, making some kind of big post online, uh, thanking everyone that came out um, is really helpful, both from just a like financial business perspective, uh, because it engages people, but also just from a heart perspective, it's really better for you. Um, we find if, if, if you're able to just, just share some of your gratitude with the public about what you're working on. So we do our best to ensure that local chapter leaders never have to work more than 15 hours a week. Some local chapter leaders totally work more than this. They find that if they work more, they, more people end up coming out and they end up making more money and having a greater impact and that's totally allowed, but we never want to require that local chapter leaders work more than 15 hours a week. In fact, um, for the, all of the tasks that we consider mandatory here, um, this totals at just about um, 12 and a half hours of work. Um, with an additional three hours that are outlined in here. So that's a little more than 15 hours. There may be some other things they might want to do too, but again, we, we do try to stick to that 15 hour limit and that includes, uh, that includes facilitating the event. All right. Um, and of course, through this whole process, you're going to be supported by uh, by me and by the rest of our team here, uh, by the rest of the central team here with Real Talk Philosophy. We're kind of spread out all over the world. I'll tell you a little bit more about our team in, in just a second.